so today is Sunday. We're going to the Gallops today. Bella, we're looking at the camera. So we're taking, Scott and I are going to go to the Gallops with Zeb and Tob. Um, we then came out of the flat and Dad said he was going to ride today. So we've decided to take an extra two horses and take the lorry. Take Daisy for Dad and Izzy was going to ride Matt. But I'm going to talk you through how I um, use the gallops for fitness work. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk you through and we'll see you when we're there. Hi, we're here at the gallops today with four horses. We've got Todd here, we've got Dad on Daisy, first time at the gallops for Dad. Feeling a bit excited, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, bit of a last minute uh, decision. Scott and I were just going to take Todd and Zeb, and then Dad was going to ride. So we've uh, quickly loaded Daisy for Dad and Max for Izzy. Um, so we're all going to have a go on the gallops and then Zeb will go on his own after so he's a bit moody at the minute because he feels like he's missing out but yeah Yeah, we're going to have to recreate Wheatlands. You, Dad, you've got to jump with it. You've got to go one, two, three, up. <laughs> one, two, three, up. <laughs> Well, you did it the other time. Get so where are you going?
only catch in the world. <laughs> his excitement all the others have gone round and he thought why have i been left till last seb what was that about what hell are you doing <gasps> so next up we've got seb uh who's my top event horse which you'll know if you watch some of the other vlogs so deb is aiming for four star this year so he's the main reason we're coming to the gallops um because i try and go to the gallops once a week with him and do some interval training it's very windy um because he has to go a lot faster on the cross country he is actually because he's thoroughbred and his mum was an ex race or uh, was an ex race or sorry uh he does actually maintain his fitness and his stamina very well and he's always one of the fastest horses cross country uh which really helps because our dressage isn't, isn't the best so we can often pull ourselves up with our speed so we try and make sure he's really super fit so we know we've got that kind of when we go we know we can be um as fast so he's feeling well he doesn't look raring to go right now actually but he is raring to go because he's had to wait and watch the other three horses go round and i think he was a bit jealous and wanted to uh get on the dogs now or something. um so yeah so we're gonna get on and um have a go on the gallop scott's gonna video and i'll do a bit of a talk over of how um like the how my interval training works and how i do it all six minutes and now we do t three minutes of trotting I've done five minutes walk four minutes trotting so now I'm going to do two minutes of an easy canter nothing too special it's quite good I can have a long break and a fill so just two minutes of steady canter just as you're I'm not saying my way is right at all but and I've kind of developed this myself I did some I've done some research this is what has worked for me and my horses and particularly Zebedee but he is super fit holds his fitness very well so a lot of other people might do it differently so I've done a minute trot and now I do two minutes more canter So another two minutes of cantering done so now on 14 minutes we now trot for one minute and then i walk for one or two minutes before changing direction and cantering again so he is feeling oh he, well he now looks like he wants to go again he was feeling actually a touch tired so i'm doing two minutes walk so i'm about to canter again now i'm going to do two minutes more cantering so done two minutes cantering 
I do two mi uh, minutes sorry, trotting and then I'll do another minute or two of can, so depending on how I feel, so I might just do a minute and a half because it's not done too much. Okay, Scott, I'm ready to get some filming. So I did another two minutes cantering actually. I did one minute faster speed and then one minute steadier to cool them off and now I will do two to three minutes of trot on a long rain letting him stretch and then I will walk him for as long as he needs to cool off so that normally is probably 10 minutes we're quite lucky here I can walk around the gallops and they've got a little trap I just walk up to really cool them off that's the most important your warm up and your cool down is the most important so you warm those muscles up and then you cool them down so that they don't then end up cramping up so one minute trot so I'll do another couple minutes just to let him cool off because it's really important when you've been cantering fast like that to really let them cool and stretch and then I'll walk three minutes trotting and now to walk and cool them off so I'm just now walking Zeb off up this uh, track as you can see Artie's worked very hard on the gallop so we're just letting him have uh, a walk off right until he's uh, stopped breathing heavily and he's cooled off properly so I'll probably walk him for five to ten minutes depending how much he needs and how fit he is obviously if you had a less fit horse a more unfit horse you would need to walk for longer and you definitely um, don't do what I do with Zeb to begin with because that is quite hard work for them um, and also Zeb is of he is a thoroughbred so his breed they are built um, for speed and stamina so he's going to be able to do a lot more even if he was a little bit um, unfit but he's fit anyway um, now actually my others do mostly follow their routine but follow his routine sorry uh, but again they are really fit they're ridden six days a week they do a lot of work and we do tailor it if they were to start to feel a bit more tired so I used to have a pony Fion I'll talk about this a bit more who struggled more with his stamina so I actually did longer bursts of canter with him um, rather than the canter trot walk uh, because he just found it he was super fit he recovered so quickly but he just struggled to maintain the canter so out on a cross-country course he just doing five minutes solid canter he found really difficult so you do have to tailor it uh, to different horses and their needs and and how they are their breeds because also even if they are a certain breed doesn't mean they're going to be a certain way Todd and Fiona both Connemara's Todd can canter far easier and for longer than Fionn ever could um, you know he did his first novice and I think only got he either went inside the time or only got like one time fault um, and I hadn't even done that much gallop work with him so they it does just depend on the different types of horses so you have to tailor it um, to each individual horse but I'm just showing you what I do um, and feel free you know if you have any questions I'm more than happy to help like I say I'm not a, an expert I've done it with lots of different horses um, and it works for me and I'm more than happy to try and help out if you have any questions please feel free to ask so anyway I'm going to continue having a walk on Zeb and calling them off before we untack and get them loaded back in